Well, hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your April reading. So let's go on and see what we have for you this month. Okay, so we have child wounded in the light attribute, um, awakens compassion and desire to serve other wounded children, opens the learning path to forgiveness. Something's going to come up for you. Uh, this definitely does feel like childhood wounds. There's there's something happening in your life that triggers it. And you're at a point in your life where you're thinking, I'm not going to continue this into a generational trauma. I'm not going to let this affect me and I'm not going to pass this on. Okay. Um, up from the depths. Oh beautiful um definitely a lot of realization here for you Sagittarius and success in that path or on that path okay so we have behind the mask mm -hmm. that's the opening of whatever this trauma is grounding dealing with it um transformation change rebirth mm-hmm not passing it on and then taking steps and answering the call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same thing. Okay, <laughs> so let's get into your cards. All right. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you in April. Okay, so King of Wands is first. Ace of Wands. Oh, look at you. Strength. Yeah, overcoming. Ooh, big energy of overcoming things. Ready to move forward. Four of Swords. Eight of Wands. Lots of action being taken. Five of Wands. There's the conflict. Ten of Coins. The Chariot. And Justice. Yeah, this this definitely talks about you being ready to move on, Sagittarius. You know, it's like I'm not going to become a product of my circumstances, Um I want more for myself. I want to move forward. I just want new things for myself. Um, and I see you being very dedicated to making that happen. You know, um, I see in the past, maybe even in the beginning of April, you've been kind of forceful about your way, whatever that is. Um, whatever is comfortable for you, whatever you're used to type of energy. And I see you knowing that that needs to be put to a rest because something comes up in your life that you have to deal with on your own. So you have to build self-confidence. You have to deal with um, some sort of old traumas or karmic issues or things you can't get past to move forward. And I do see a little bit of struggle because there is change and because it seems like it's coming up so fast. You know, it's like once you step into it, Sagittarius, you start to see around you all the people and situations that it has affected. And I, I feel like that's just a lot for you. It could be slightly overwhelming. Um, but the key here is keeping everything together, keeping family together, keeping your circle tight, whatever that is. Um, you're like, I'm not going to veer off. This is not going to break me <laughs> is really the energy. Um, so you're moving forward to make things right. Wow. It definitely gives that vibe of like, I don't have the time. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time. Yeah, you've been really defending yourself against something hardcore 
something that's based in or trauma based, like I won't do that. That's not for me. Uh, I need to have control, whatever that is for you. It can manifest in different ways. Um, and April is going to put some some humbleness to that for sure. Um, things are going to start moving very quickly. And uh, this is your opportunity to, to sort of um, jump on board with that energy. Okay. There is power. There's power in gearing towards happiness instead of running from it. Um, being optimistic instead of being pessimistic. There's power in that. And that's what you're learning. Like, through adversity, um, you can triumph. Uh, it's almost like you don't even get a breath. But not in a bad way, just it doesn't give you time to change your mind. This is the direction that we're going in, okay? I feel like this message comes from something about family, uh, starting a family, supporting a family, um, long-term job, something. You have to make some sort of promise about the future. And that's what sort of, if you want to say triggers, but that's what brings this about. So it's definitely bringing up some childhood issues. I feel like that you kind of pushed in the back. Yeah, you just haven't been giving attention to it. You haven't been working on it. And this is bringing attention to that. So you have to work on it. You have to give it time because it's starting to affect you. Okay. Yeah, I feel like moving forward, the more that you started working on things, the more you started getting in the details of moving forward in your life and doing new things, you're starting to see how the past affected you, maybe how you were raised or maybe how you view family. Um, it does affect you in some way. And I feel like you're starting to see that. Um, and it kind of causes you to shut down a little, if that's what you want to say. But it's more like uh, inward contemplation. Because um, it's like you don't want to make the situation worse. So you need to pause to sort of reevaluate or restructure how you're going to move forward. Um, except for this time, you have to look at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is telling you that there needs to be some changes. OK, that you have to go a different direction. They have to do things differently. You can't keep doing it the way that you have been doing it uh, for the sake of your future, for the sake of your family, for the sake of your relationship, for the sake of your job. OK. Um, whatever it is that's coming up, that's really the motivation for this. Um you need a lot of self-confidence and bravery <laughs> and vulnerability with yourself um, to deal with this, to, to resolve it. So you have to go back into some emotional wounds is what I'm seeing. And that is really bringing up a lot of things quickly, like the floodgates that you have to deal with. It kind of reminds me of a whack-a-mole game. Like things are coming up and you got to deal with them as you, as you go. This is a new direction. What's interesting is I don't see you making excuses for yourself. I see you dealing with it. You know, um, I see that you may need a mediator, whether this is somebody close to you to decipher 
or a therapist of some sort. Um, but I see you moving forward. It's like each thing that comes up, you deal with it as it comes up. All of this is about resolving past issues so you can move forward. You know, um, it took, it takes an amount of vulnerability in you to understand that there's a problem or issue and it's something that has to do with me. So I need to resolve them. Um, it's interesting cause I don't really feel a lot of like emotional ties. I see things affecting you from the past, um, that surrounds family or emotions, um, that is causing you to act in a certain way that needs to change. That's what it is. Um, I don't see you being very emotionally driven, but I see you having to deal with emotional I'm just going to say trauma instead of issues. I don't like that. So trauma. There's the moon. I knew that was coming up, but just because I felt trauma in here. talk about the trauma um yeah the, the only thing I feel like spirit wants to say about it is as you start to move forward you see how it's affecting your life it's like having a monkey on your back and April brings a breaking point for you to have to deal with that or even for you to see it clearly and how it's affecting you because someone can tell you that you have it or you can kind of think maybe in passing but as you're moving forward in life and learning new things and having new experiences you're seeing how that is affecting you and wanting to resolve that moving forward okay so money and career You've been trying to push off some sort of responsibility, right? So either someone has told you they want something from you or like a partner told you they, they wanted you to be a part of something moving forward, like marriage, children, or buying a house or something like that. Um, and I see that you've kind of been pushing it off and you've been very good about doing it. <laughs> um it feels like it's a uh, emotional risk that you haven't taken before and you don't know. It's, it's like you're realizing that something is stopping you from doing it, even though it's a good idea. It's not that it's a bad idea. There's something in you that's like, I don't know. Um, And you not being privy to this, privy, privy, part of it, uh, being ready for it um, is causing a lot of conversation, a lot of movement, a lot of things that need change, right? So either your your partner or the other side of this is like, wait, hold on. And you're like, okay, well, let's talk about it first, you know? <laughs> um, yeah. You're noticing in April that there's something that you're weird about being vulnerable about. Something is being brought to your attention. 
because the more it comes to you, the more it, it the more closer you get to taking action you're like pulling back or you're not ready or it doesn't feel right something is off to you um and this is causing you to be like there's a conflict here I need to see why I feel this way why it's coming up to me so strongly if this is a person you're dealing with uh it feels as though they're very excited about this and they feel like this is their next journey or their next step. And it feels like you said maybe later with a positive tone and they feel like now that you're just sort of gaslighting them or um, pulling back on something that's important to them. So... So you're seeing for the sake of this relationship or the sake of keeping things together, you're going to have to dig into your thoughts and your senses <laughs> about the next step that you're going to take. And it's like you're getting better. You're dealing with your processing. Um, you're resolving, you're healing these issues for the greater good. It's funny because in emotions, I see that you feel like something is coming up very fast. Something someone has been talking about to you. And it has something to do about expanding a relationship that already exists. Um, it feels like Sagittarius that you've done all the things leading up to here and now the time is approaching and it feels like you're I'm going to just say making excuses or changing the subject every time it comes up but it's getting so close to you making a decision like pushing you to make a decision that you're seeing like I have issues with this Okay, growth. Yeah. So opening up your heart, dealing with things in your heart chakra and your heart space that needs to be resolved. So these are emotional issues, as I said before, bringing them to the surface so you can learn from them or become wiser. Instinct. Mm -hmm. Why? This is a big, why do I have this reaction? Why do I feel this way? Where is this coming from? Okay, yeah, I'm hearing like nur uh, nurture, nature versus nurture, right? So it's like, is this a thing that I just am, like I feel, or is this something that has been nurtured in me, you know? And this is coming from someone else's demands from you. They want something from you. They need you to speak the truth and, and be honest. Because right now, I feel like you're just kind of skirting around the issue. Okay. Ooh, that's interesting, Sagittarius. You'll have to let me know what's going on. I love you. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye.